But I'm telling you, find a resolution. Don't run into social media and complain about it. Set your finger premiere up again. It's just that simple. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So today I'll be addressing, addressing two things that I keep getting a question about. Now, it's only been less than a week with the device. Okay, maybe five days, okay, right? So early battery numbers and the fingerprint reader. These are questions that people are wanting answers to. And I'll show you my battery numbers uh, for the last 24 hours. As you can see here, real time, I'm at what, 21% right there. Uh, and I'm also gonna show you the fingerprint reader. Now, when it comes to the fingerprint reader, I've seen a number of, of people um, asking about the fingerprint reader. Is it good? So-and-so said it was bad. And then, you know, hey, it is what it is. Folks, if you have an in-screen fingerprint reader, this isn't new technology. Yes, my OnePlus 9 Pro's fingerprint reader is much faster than this fingerprint reader. If that's what you wanna hear, that is the truth. The OnePlus 9 Pro's fingerprint reader is faster than this fingerprint reader. Okay, there you go. Let's get that out of the way. Now, this fingerprint reader is fast. So I'm, I've set up different fingers and you can see how that works. You know, it's, it's just a fast fingerprint reader. Now, depending on what you have on your, like I put lotion on before every video or just throughout the day after I wash my hands, I put lotion on. And the fingerprint reader has worked consistently every time for me. You hold it there and then, you know, it opens. So I don't understand the, the thing about the fingerprint reader. Folks, this is so simple. If you have fingerprint, uh, fingerprint issues, redo your fingerprints. Re redo your fingerprints. I think with some, sometimes you can't just complain about something. Try to find a resolution. There is absolutely nothing wrong with the fingerprint reader on this device, period. It's just that simple. Set your fingerprint reader up. You have trouble with it, add your fingerprint back. Do something to get it because this fingerprint reader is great. And like I said, it's not the fastest, obviously. Obviously, it's not fast. One plus fingerprint readers are fast. It's always been like that. To me, they've always had the fastest fingerprint readers. That is the truth. Simply put. All right. Now, that's just my personal experience. I'm not saying that you're not having fingerprint reader issues with your device, but I'm telling you, find a resolution. Don't run into social media and complain about it. Set your fingerprint reader up again. It's just that simple. I mean, I don't know how to address these things any longer. I'm not, I don't want to start sidestepping this stuff, try to be nice about it. Reality is, the fingerprint reader works fine on here. Yeah, there's no software issues or anything like that. It just works, period. Now, battery life. This is one that people have been asking me about, and I'm responding to questions that are asked to me. Uh, and and this it's too early to say that this is going to be the best battery. Like, I see some people posting... Uh, Pixel 6 battery, battery Pro is better battery than the iPhone 13 Pro Max or just iPhone 13 Pro. Here's what I have to say about that. Standby time is very rare on an Android phone where it's good, okay? Standby time is rarely good on, on, on Android phones, in my experience. Now, as far as you guys want me to measure screen on time, I like to measure how long I'm off the, off the charger. So as you can see here, I'm at 21%, right? I haven't charged this phone in the last 24 hours. Now let's see what my battery is looking like. All right, so it's reading it. It's saying I got about two hours and 53 minutes left. You know, that's just a, a rough, you know, that doesn't mean that I'm gonna get that. And it's like that with all phones, right? So let's go into battery usage. As you can see, I have not charged it. It's been in the last 24 hours, this is what I'm using. Now, this isn't showing you anything, so let me show you the actual usage. You scroll down on, on Android 12, you go down here to system usage for the past 24 hours, and this is where you see the actual numbers. So, um, uh, I have not charged this phone in the last roughly 22 and a half hours, 22 hours, and then you can see uh, their phone idle. That's how long it's been since I charged the phone. Uh, just almost 22 hours from now, I've got 21% left, and I've got seven hours and 45 minutes of screen on time. And I've got an hour and 47 minutes of that is on my 5G network. And four hours and 17 minutes of that is on my Wi-Fi. So folks, things that dictate whether you're gonna get good battery is your network. I have a strong Wi-Fi 
and I have a mesh system throughout my entire house, so I'm getting great battery. I really get tired of people saying, some phones just don't have good battery. Let's just be clear here. Some phones just don't have good battery, and this is a fact. This phone has a 5,003 milliamp hour battery inside, and it's every bit as good of battery as any other phone I've used with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, period. The numbers don't lie. And just think about this, I'm still in the workup phase of what the phone is learning. This is the, the AI machine in here learning system is gonna, it's gonna really help me get even better battery than this. And the reason I'm kind of hesitant on talking about battery right now because I know it's gonna get better than this. Now you think about this now, it's saying I got roughly, it's trying to tell me I got two hours and 53 minutes or 52 minutes left with 21% left, cut that in half. If I stay on the phone for the next hour, it'll probably die and I won't get, or at least an hour and a half. I probably should be able to get like another hour and a half out of this if I start watching a movie or something like that. I can finish a two hour movie with this on, so then that takes my screen on time up to almost 10 hours of screen on time. So you add two hours to that, nine hours and 45 minutes. I can get at least two hours out of this, that 20%. And, and I say that with confidence because I've run the phone down and done it already. So battery life, folks, is totally subjective to the user. There is no set amount of battery that everyone's going to get. So I see a lot of people comparing to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. The iPhone 13 Pro Max, we all know that iPhones have great standby time, just phenomenal standby time. And I hear great things about the iPhone 13 Pro Max. But I purchased the iPhone 13 and 13 Pro. And this battery is better than both of those. So maybe that's why people are comparing it to the Pro Max, I guess. Now, I don't have the Pro Max. You want me to go buy it? <laughs> I get enough votes, I guess I go buy it, just do a battery test for you, that's crazy, but hey, it is what it is. So, <clears throat> I, I, I feel like a lot of people are intrigued by this phone because they know it's good. And that's really all it is. You know that the phone is good and you're intrigued by it. There are a lot of Pixel users out there, and I was gonna say non-Team Pixel members, but there is a now super fan club for Pixel users, and it's probably, I don't use Facebook, but it's probably like 15, 20,000 or more people in there. People love the Pixel devices. Now, one real thing I'm looking forward to is, this is a gift from Google, they sent this over to me, total transparency, you guys know that by now. If you don't know, if you're just a new person on the channel, I want you to go ahead and check out some of the other content that I produce because uh, I consider myself to be a pretty much a neutral style reviewer. I don't, I'm not loyal to any one brand, even if I get a device sent over to me. But I say that to say this, I purchased the Pixel 6 because I actually like smaller phones, no matter how big my hands are. These are some mittens right here. I, I hit you with these, you, you <laughs> but um, I, don't, I don't promote violence, I don't hit people. Uh, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious about the Pixel 6 battery. And I actually bought that device uh, and I bought this same case. Again, Google sent over this beautiful case for it uh, and I just appreciate them doing so. Uh, but there's your answers to those two questions. Is the fingerprint reader bad? Is the battery bad? Absolutely not, not in my usage. And I always tell people, remember, battery depends on you. But the fingerprint reader, man, set your fingerprint reader up again. If you got if you got one of these pixels sent out to you from Google, just set your fingerprint reader up again. You're being too critical. Seriously. The fingerprint reader will work. Add your fingerprint back like you do every other phone that you do. Got it? It's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yes. This is a phenomenal device. So far. If something changes, you know I'm going to point it out to you. Take care.